Hi everybody, I'm Coach Ali and this is Steph. Are you ready to lift your way to a stronger, healthier body? You've come to the right place. Lift is the home barbell workout series that's gonna help you reach your goals and take your fitness to the next level. For the lift series, we are using our barbells. However, you can mimic and complete the entire workout series with a pair of dumbbells too. Barbells are a universal piece of equipment and an excellent way to get fast results due to the range of motion, allowing for precise targeting of muscles and control over the weight being lifted. Lift series is all about smart strength training with barbells that'll produce real results. All you need to do is follow along to each and every workout in the lift series in the order that we release them. During our lift series, we'll bring you targeted barbell workouts structured to get you stronger, maximize your gains, and reduce your body fat in the shortest period possible. With lift, you'll learn essential barbell exercises designed to build strength and muscle whilst keeping your heart rate in your fat burning zone. Together, we'll also explore proper form and technique that will keep you safe while maximizing the benefits of each exercise. It's very important to make sure you have clear space around you free from trip hazards. Also have a bottle of water with you and take a sip between sets and stay hydrated. As per all workout series on this channel, the first 10 workouts are available to everybody with access to YouTube. Workouts 11 to 24, on the other hand, are available to channel members, which can be obtained by clicking the join icon and choosing your preferred level of membership. Now get ready to feel the burn and let's get fit together with lift. Today's workout will focus on your quads, hamstrings and glutes using your barbell or using your dumbbells at home as an alternative. Being some of the biggest muscles in the body, training them correctly is essential. In this workout video, we'll be targeting these muscles with carefully selected exercises that will help you improve your strength, power and balance, as well as toning those lower body muscles. Let's get started. This exercise is a Romanian deadlift. It's essentially a hinge of the hips. Start with your feet parallel at shoulder width, hinge forward and drop the barbell down vertically. The best way to do this is push your butt behind you and then drive forward with your hips and work your way up, making sure you're holding that vertical line of the barbell, both on the way down and the way up as well. Focus on the back and forth, not on the up and down. Is what I like Jumping from a roof that is almost too high Laying on the grass, I close my eyes Playing my guitar to my fingers and no oh, I always try to let my spirit fly Fly away That's the only way to get that high
This is a traditional barbell squat. You can see we're doing it with parallel feet at shoulder width and we're getting nice and deep into those squats, but we're keeping our posture upright throughout the exercise. So keep looking in front of you. This will keep your neck alignment and it'll also encourage your posture to remain upright. You've got to stay nice and heavy on your heels. So if you're changing the balance of your weight onto the ball of your foot, you're doing it wrong. This is a single arm sumo deadlift. So at the moment, we're doing it with our right arm only. Make sure you've got the sumo deadlift foot position going so your feet are nice and wide, your toes are pointing out at 45 degrees, and that when you drop down, your knees are aligned with your toes as well. Make sure your back remains nice and flat. Push your tailbone out and go into a nice hinge and then drive your hips forward and work your way back up into that standing position.
So let's do the other side. This is a sumo deadlift with the left arm only this time. Again, let's go through the form guide. Make sure that your feet are wide and your toes are pointing out at 45 degrees. Make sure you're pushing back with your butt when you drop down into this position and drop the barbell down vertically. When you drive up, use your hips, engage your glutes and pick that barbell up in a vertical line as well. Keep your neck aligned with your body. So you're looking on the floor when you're in the low position and you're looking in front of you when you're in your standing position. This exercise is a barbell front squat or a weightlifter squat. Now, I want to focus on the lower vastus head of your quadriceps. So I want you to go with parallel legs at shoulder width, making sure your toes are pointing forward. When you drop down, your elbows should just about reach your thighs. So make sure there's enough depth in your squat when you do it. You can either hold the barbell in front of you where your collarbone is, or you can even rest it on your collarbone if you like. Tricky situations, I will be a lifeline. Nobody's meant to be fighting alone. That's why I'm taking you home. I never felt something like this before. I know. Keep coming back for your time after time. Maybe I'm losing my mind, but I know I'll never leave you behind. No, baby, I got you. When you feel like falling, I'll be there to prove. Baby, I got you No matter the distance No matter the hoops Yeah Baby, I got you When you feel like falling I'll be there to prove Yeah That baby, I got you No matter the distance No matter the hoops Yeah Baby, I got you
connection in between us Still I feel your heartbeat mm-hmm. There's something about you, baby That makes me feel complete Somebody's meant to be fighting alone That's why I'm taking you home I never felt something like this before, no Keep coming back for your time at the time Maybe I'm losing my mind But I know I'll never leave you behind, no Baby, I got you When you feel like falling I'll be there to prove Yeah That baby, I got you This is a barbell suitcase squat. So you can see we're holding the barbell in the middle with our left hand only. The arms remaining nice and vertical and by our side. And we're dropping into a parallel foot squat. So the main difference here is that you're going to feel more pressure on the weighted side. And the opposite side is just coming along for the ride. Make sure you maintain those parallel legs as you drop down and try and stay nicely balanced.
So now we're doing our suitcase squats holding with the right side. So it's the right leg that's going to feel the pressure and the left leg is there for balance this time. Again, going through the form guide, make sure that your feet are parallel at shoulder width. You can go marginally wider if you need a little bit more balance. Make sure that your posture is remaining as upright as you can keep it. And let's get nice and deep into those squats. This is an alternating side squat, but you can see we're leaning forward as we get into the side pose. So this is going to really emphasize your sartorius. So you'll really feel it inside your thighs as you lean forward. Make sure that your legs are nice and wide and your feet are parallel. If your balance is pushing past your bent knee, then it's probably because your stance is not wide enough. So make sure you widen it. Now, as you lean forward, make sure you keep your back nice and straight and keep your neck aligned with your back as well.
This is a barbell hip thruster and it's one of the basic exercises you would do for your glutes and your erectors. We're using our bench today, but if you don't have a bench at your disposal, you can always use a coffee table or any raised surface that's nice and stable. So start with your feet at shoulder width and make sure you're in that seated position with your butt just missing the floor. When you elevate, you're looking for that straight line from your knee to your shoulder. So make sure you squeeze your glutes and erectors and drive your hips as high as they'll go. This exercise is an alternate reverse lunge. I favor working reverse lunges because they're a lot easier on your knees than stepping forward into a lunge. The main form guide to watch for is make sure that your lunges are nice and lengthy and try to keep your front shin bone as vertical as you can keep it throughout the set. Another really good point is to try to keep your upper body as upright as you can keep it. So try not to lean forward too much.
This exercise is a traditional barbell sumo squat, starting with wide feet with your toes pointing out at 45 degrees. When you drop down into the squat, push your knees wide so that you're engaging your sartorius inside of your thighs. This is a fantastic exercise for developing your inner thighs and your outer glutes, but it's also a really good way of doing squats because it's easy on your knees. This exercise is a booty squat. So it starts off looking like a regular squat with the barbell in front of you. Then we hinge forward into the bottom position of a Romanian deadlift and then drive up, push forward with your hips and get into that standing position. You'll get good flexion of the quadriceps when you're in that low upright position. And then you switch and the power goes into your hamstrings, your glutes and your erectors and drive up looking in front of you to finish the exercise.
All right, well done for completing today's lift home barbell workout and progressing through this series. If you enjoyed the workout with us, then please give us a thumbs up and let us know how you did. We love hearing from you and hearing about your fitness journey. Don't forget to spread the love and share these workouts with your friends and family. If you're done working out today, then you should move on to cool down stretching with our physio Daphne. There's a link of her stretching playlist at the end of this video, so be sure to check it out. And of course, we look forward to bringing you another lift home barbell workout shortly. You guys take care of yourselves and each other.